Deputy Secretary of Commerce Bud Brown. Good evening, Bud and Sneevy and everybody at uh, AVI and DAO in Dayton and in the Dayton communications community. I'm delighted, Bud, to have a chance to make this tape to congratulate you on becoming an instant millionaire. I mean, I guess that's what happened when you sold the radio stations, and I assume that you and Sneevy are going to move to Florida and we'll never see you again. Uh, so I wanted you to see me for one last time before you leave. Seriously, Bud, uh, I want to, as the Deputy Secretary of Commerce first, on behalf of myself and Secretary of Commerce Mac Baldrige, congratulate you for the career that you've had in communications in Dayton, uh, and particularly the work you've done uh, in communications that's been in a pioneering mode, uh, letting people have their say on a public communication system, AVI, its talk network, DAO and the opportunity to represent the minority community in Dayton on many, many issues has been a real contribution to your community, to broadcasting, and uh, clearly to the people that have had their chance to speak their mind on those two stations. Bud, we'll miss you in broadcasting in the Dayton area because you really have been a pioneer. You've been a very successful pioneer, pioneer both in the talk show business and also a pioneer in representing or serving the minority community. I understand in the process you probably made a little bit of money out of it, but there's nothing wrong with that. Those of us in the Commerce Department uh, are in the business of trying to encourage people to make money. Uh, we hope that not only can you make money, but uh, everybody else in the country can make money so that we can have a sound government and get rid of some of those deficits. But they gave me a little bit of short notice to try to get the Vice President, uh, Bob Dole, and President Reagan to make you a tape. So this is what you get. What you see is what you get. I'm sorry that we didn't have time to get the, the President or the Vice President, but I know that they would join me too in wishing you well, particularly because they know, as I do, that you were pretty happy when President Reagan won re-election, uh, even more happy maybe when he won election the first time and I want to thank you also for the help that you always gave me when I was seeking public office in the, in the area and in the state of Ohio. We wish just the best for you and Sneevy. And if we're on your schedule in Washington, the latch string is out. Joyce and I would be delighted to see you any time. Best wishes. ever going to stop? What do you want? I want to know what is happening. I got the word that you are tight with the new people that are coming in. Wait a minute, who's saying about new people? Who's saying about new people? Now, don't pull my leg. Come on. You want to know if you get, you want to know if your job's safe, right? I want to know if they're going to change the format, if my job's going to be safe. Tell How you look in a cowboy hat? How you look in a cowboy hat? I think I look pretty good. Well, that's all I'm going to tell you. That's all I can tell you. I thought we were free. Do you like country music? Okay, I look, love I, country music. I told you, I told you, you'd be the first one to know. If this station is sold, you're going to be the first one to know. How many other people have you told? Nobody. That? I haven't told anybody else that. You're going to be the first one. I'll come to you before I go to anybody. If, I'll come to you before I go to Cole. Okay, don't play on our friendship. You I'm not. good friends. I'm not. I'm not. You, you like Charlie Pride? It's all right. Okay. That's, I'll tell you as soon as I know. But don't keep bothering me, okay? I'm not, you know, I don't know everything. I'm not bothering you. I don't know everything. If I wanted to know, I should come Would you to tell me if you were rumor control? Of course. Would you tell me first? Of course. We got a deal. Come on, Art. We'll get you in just a couple of minutes, I promise. November 15th, 1984, the day the rumors stopped. The folks at Wavy are waving goodbye to Dayton. Radio station WAVI is being sold to an Iowa-based broadcasting corporation. Wavy uh, Broadcasting President H.K. Bud Crowell announced the sale late this afternoon. Crowell says the station will be sold to Stoner Broadcasting for $40 million. Crowell first put the radio station on the air 30 years ago on an investment of $30,000. Included That's in the sale, though, is Crowell's FM station, WDAO. 
As we revealed on our 22 Alive Midday report today, two Dayton radio stations have been sold. Our report was confirmed at an afternoon news conference. With details, here's Marla Fry. What I want to say is something that's been rumored around town for probably six months that we were selling. Today, that rumor became a reality. Kroll announced WAVIAM and its FM sister station, WDAO, has been sold to Stoner Broadcasting Systems, beating out several other broadcasting groups with a $4 million deal. Part of that includes a $100,000 a year no-compete stipend that Kroll will receive for five years. Kroll says right now there are no plan changes in either format or personnel. But he reminded everyone that once the stations did switch hands, he no longer has a say-so in the matter. But well, nothing is guaranteed. Uh, I assume they will maintain, I'm certain they will maintain the Dale format. What they'll do about Wavy, I'm not sure. WAVI is currently the only full-time talk format station in Dayton, but Kroll says he'd like to be remembered best for WDAO. So we started the first black FM radio in the history of the broadcasting, and that uh, we brought to Dayton, Ohio, his first black radio station. Terms of the deal are still subject to FCC approval, and Paul says it could be as late as March before the new owners take over. Marla Fry, 22 Alive News. Bud, you're a big Republican, so you'll enjoy this story. A uh, gentleman walks into a bar and sits down at the bar and has a drink and next to another gentleman, and after a few minutes he leans over and says to him, you know, uh, these Democrats are a bunch of horses' asses. Well, this guy gets up off his bar stool, takes a swing at him, knocks him off the bar, and onto the floor and the uh, gentleman gets up, dusts himself off, walks down to the end of the bar and says, bartender, come here for a second. The bartender comes over and he says, hey, I didn't think we were in Democrat country. The bartender says, you're not. You're in horse country. Well, anyway, but I thought you'd enjoy that. Uh, also, I want to relate a little story. Uh, about uh, 10 or 11 years ago, when I was starting in the business as a young stockbroker with Merrill Lynch, uh, I prospected uh, an executive uh, owner of a couple of radio stations in town uh, to no avail. Uh, uh, he was very nice, but never seemed to get any business out of him. All of a sudden, uh, here about a year and a half ago, uh, I start doing uh, a show for a local radio station, and all of a sudden now I've got a good client. But I want to thank you very much, Bud. You've been awfully good to us, and uh, we really appreciate your business. And good luck uh, uh, in the future. Okay, Art. Now you can go. Hi, HK. Just sitting here doing my thing, uh, late as usual, and uh, trying to uh, keep on telling people how wonderful Wavy is. Sorry to see you go, but I know you'll have a good time in your retirement, but uh, we know you'll be busy doing something. right as he started the film. It was supposed to be an interruption. <laughs> Wait a few minutes. Is it running? <laughs> oh, hi, HK. This is your uh, news editor, Brenda Hart. I'm sitting here at the big desk, as Don Mills used to call it, and just kind of wondering about what you're going to be doing over the next few years. And, uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to say thanks for the job and thanks for giving me the promotion here. And you know, I've enjoyed it a lot. And uh, I'll be thinking about you. Think about us too, okay? Uh, gosh, especially in Barbados or wherever you're going to be spending that four million bucks. But we will be thinking about it, about you up here. So take care and good luck, buddy. Budsy, Budsy. <laughs> Bye. Gotta get ready for the news now. <laughs> Oh. Hi, HK. Hope you have a Merry Christmas and just an absolutely wonderful retirement. It's been a real pleasure working at WAVI, WDAO, and I thank you for the opportunities you've given me. Hi, HK. Good luck in all you do. I hope you have fun traveling around, spending all that time and money. <laughs> you feel like sharing the wealth? Pass it this way. Good luck. 